Okay, Tesla just tweeted that their spring software update is upon us. In today's video, we're gonna cover just what to expect because this is exciting. I should know. I've owned my Tesla Model 3 since 2018 and I've seen some major instrumental updates that have made my car completely different than what it was when I first bought it. So I'm super excited, as should you be. So in today's video, we're gonna cover what is expected out of this software update, what exactly Tesla's gonna deliver, and whether your vehicle actually is going to get it, because not every vehicle is gonna get this software update. So let's get into it. I'm super excited, you should too. Let's cover Tesla's spring software update 2024. Now again, if you wanna stay up to date with all the latest happenings with Tesla and electric vehicles, make sure you're following me on X and make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video and everything that I show you, uh, make sure that you hit it with that thumbs up. The algorithm likes it and I would greatly appreciate it. Let's cover the software update. Okay, let's start with the visual updates coming in this spring release. Number one is the park screen. So today when you put your car in park, um, this is what you see. The vehicle is docked to the left. Um, you can actually spin this car around, which I remember when this was updated to include this, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was HD, it looked sweet. You could actually see your windows roll down. You could see them roll up. You could see when you open the door, when you close it. It was really, really cool. Um, but in the spring update, this is actually going to take up the entire screen, similar to what you guys see on the Cybertruck screen. If I have a clip, I'll insert it here, but the Cybertruck um, takes up the entire screen, a really HD, amazing rendering of the vehicle. You can spin it around and you can control all of the vehicle from there. So that is really cool. Secondly is the, um, is the player. So today we're listening to music. You can actually view it on full screen. You can bring it down. You can have it in a mini player or you can have it in this medium player. What it's going to be taking is basically this medium player and giving you the same amount of controls in a mini player, but with bigger buttons. And it's gonna be right here in the middle. If you have a Model S or X, you're very similar to this. These updates are gonna be coming to Model 3 and Model Y. The third update is today when you're driving, you get your actual visualization here of when you're driving. So if I were to shift into drive, this is what we see when you're driving and here's where your map lies. Now you can actually take this and expand it to the full screen while you're driving. You can see a road, you can see vehicles around you and so forth, but you lose access to the map. In the spring update, the map is gonna be overlaid into the top right hand corner, uh, similar to what you see um, on, I believe S and X have this as well. So you're gonna be seeing three and Y coming in line with S and X. These are awesome updates. I'm really looking forward to it. However, big however, is not every vehicle is going to get this. So yes, this is coming to Model 3 and Y, but it's only coming to a Model 3 and Y if you have the AMD infotainment chip. How do you know if you have that? Click on your car icon here, click on software, scroll down right here where it says additional vehicle information, click on that, and you're gonna see right here under infotainment processor, I have the Intel Atom chip. Thus, none of those updates that I just talked about, I will be getting. If yours says AMD, good for you, you will be seeing this update. And so that is the first update coming in the spring release. Now, some updates that are coming to everyone and not segregated by year or vehicle type is gonna be the presence of Audible. So if you are an Audible user, you will now get Audible natively uh, on the infotainment in your vehicle. Uh, secondly is Spotify. You will now get the access to Spotify Q across your vehicle. So pausing, resuming, uh, playback, playback speeds, uh, what you start in one, vehicle to another like your home or your phone or whatever like that should work seamlessly and those are updates to Spotify if you are a Spotify user that's pretty nice to see that updated uh, let's jump outside to cover some additional updates now another change in this software update is regarding the trunk specifically for model SNX 2021 and newer and the new model 3 um, it does require the power trunk. Now I know there's vehicles outside of that date range that have it, but Tesla only mentions those vehicles. Now back in 2018, there was no power trunk. I had to get it retrofitted through a third party company called EV Offer. But 
Since then till now, mine has still led the pack because of one extra feature. Mine has a foot sensor. I can come behind it, kick my foot underneath, and my trunk opens. Now that has never been offered in any other trunk, but with this latest update, you're gonna get a similar like feature. With your phone key in your pocket, you're gonna be able to come up to your trunk within a close vicinity, stand there for a given amount of time, and it will auto open. I can't express to you how amazing and how important that is, especially when your hands are full, you have kids, to be able to open the trunk without touching anything is a game changer. Thank you, Tesla, for doing that, because that's gonna be a pretty sweet update. Let's see what else. Now, when I bought my car back in 2018, there was no alarm system, believe it or not. A sentry mode came out while I had my vehicle and it was a game changer. Well, this software update takes it to another level. You see, when your alarm gets triggered on your car, you get notified on your phone. It just says alarm triggered. You have no idea what or why or, or anything that's going on. Well, with this latest software update, it's actually going to send you a clip recording from the cameras indicating so you can actually quickly view what is it. Is it actually an emergency? Do you need to go out and attend to it? Or can you just disarm it and rearm it right from your phone and leave it alone? Or maybe not go because it's a dangerous situation. That is awesome. Another update to the alarm system that's come a long way since it was first released. Great update, sentry mode, video clip preview right on your phone. Now again, 2021 and later Model S and X are going to see enhancements to their regenerative braking. Remember, more regenerative braking, more aggressive regenerative braking is going to mean adding more energy back to your battery, so more range. Uh, that's a kind of nice feature. And the last feature, let's jump inside uh, and we'll talk about the final feature. Okay, uh, yes, I'm in the rear seat and yes, I am in a car seat. So a sub to the channel would be splendid for your support in me getting in a back seat too show you this. If you have a Tesla with a rear screen, your little ones in the back, Tesla cares about them. They love them. That's why they brought a rear screen back here. They're able to watch as much YouTube and shows and games as much as they want while you're road tripping. But what's the one question they always ask? Are we there yet? Well, no worries. They will now be able to see how much time is left on your trip, um, temperature and so forth uh, right on the screen at the top as a little info bar, which is great. No more are we there yet. Then they can look forward to when they have to turn off their shows and their games. Yeah, right, what kid wants to turn that stuff off? They'll watch it all day long. Anyway, those are all the software updates. I'm curious to know, what do you think? What are you most excited for in this spring software update? Leave them down in the comments and are you one of them like me who's feeling a little left out? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it to anybody else that might find it interesting. Uh, my butt hurts. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Ugh.